Hey folks, this is Ray from DCRamaker.com. Today I've got here Polar's newest watch, the M600. This is the GPS watch, but more interestingly, it's actually an Android Wear watch. Um, so you see that right there. Uh, so what that means is that you can run Android Wear apps on it, um, which makes it really compelling because Polar doesn't have a third-party app story on their watches today, so there's no other platform. Um, whereas this allows you to run apps like Strava, Map by Run, and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this, uh, but you can go ahead and hit the link down below there to see uh, my full blog post on it, as well as my other videos on the M600, and then stay tuned over the next month or so, once a near release, it's supposed to come out in September, um, for more information and more videos. So with that, let's get started. Um, so the box has this shell design, and you can actually see uh, the watch just sitting there right inside. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this out. Okay, so there's that. Um, now I've gone ahead and just cut this piece of tape right there, that way I didn't have to do that here in person. Um, and then this opens up just like this, and you've got this kind of just fold out here with some motivational stuff. Uh, so, let's just dump that out. There we go. Next we got more motivational stuff. Um, it looks like inside here we have uh, the Getting Started Guide. Uh, so this is in English. I suspect when the, the final unit comes out, um, that'll probably be in other languages as well. Um, it gives you a big overview on how to use the watch and then wearing the watch. Uh, now this watch does have an optical wrist, uh, optical heart rate sensor on it, um, which is just above the wrist. So if you do ignore everything else here, the one that you want to pay attention to is the placement on your wrist. This is super, super important for all optical heart rate sensors. Um, in a nutshell, do not put it on this bone. If, just don't do it. Um, put it here, put it there, put it really anywhere else on your body, not on that bone. So, back to the video. Um, move that out of the way, this, there, there we go. Um, next we have the watch itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll crack open this little case here and see what's inside. Uh, it looks like we have just the USB charger. So you've got a standard USB adapter there, uh, and then you have this kind of customized USB charger. Looks sort of similar to the Polar V800 one, but not quite exactly the same in terms of the contact design. Um, and then we have the actual watch itself. So we can see if we can pluck this out of here. There we go. So, there's the watch. Um, now you'll see the stylings are very similar uh, to a lot of other past Polar watches, so you're not like breaking any ground here in terms of um, the differences. It's got this uh, rubber band here that is removable, so I can go ahead and pop this off and swap it. And there's a white one over here, for example, that they sent me to play with. Um, so you can see there's the white, there's the black, and uh, perhaps down the road there'll be other colors. Uh, so, on the unit itself, you've got, um, this is the 6 LED uh, optical heart rate sensor array that they have there. Uh, so I'm interested to see how well this works uh, compared to their past one. They had introduced optical heart rate sensor on the Polar A360 this past winter, and that mostly sucked. Um, so this is supposed to be a lot better. and got a lot of improvements to it, so we'll see how well it works over the next few days. And then here's that charging port there that uses this little contact design uh, to simply just plop in place. It's kind of magnetic, so it holds up like that. Um, so with that, that's just a kind of a quick unboxing. Again, check out all the rest of the videos I have. Um, and then for fun, to show you the difference in size, if I can get this back in here, probably should have done this once before doing it on video. Uh, there we go. Okay, so to show you a comparison of size, here is the Polar V800. Um, so you can see the screen size is virtually identical. I think it might be exactly identical. Um, this has the button down here. Uh, whereas this has the one, two, three, four, five buttons on it. Um, it looks like there's also a button right there as well, so we've got two buttons here. So, and then on the inside, of course, the difference is being this has just this uh, metal backing with no optical heart rate sensor, uh, whereas this has the optical heart rate sensor. You can see that charging port there, the charging port there. Again, they look virtually identical um, in terms of style, uh, but the clip-on with the uh, V100 kind of clips on this way versus this just pops straight in. So anyways, as I was saying before, uh, stay tuned to the channel for more videos on uh, all sorts of sport technology gadgets. Um, and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there so you can get new videos all the time the second they are released. I usually release them the moment the embargoes lift. So if you want to be the first to know, hit that button. With that, thanks for watching.